The following episode of Butt Plugin with QDOT was brought to you via donations from godless perverts like you. Hi, and welcome to a hastily compiled second episode of Butt Plugin with QDOT. Now, after my first episode, the Fleshlight Launch Teardown, I just kind of fucked off. I was planning on starting a YouTube channel, but it turns out that I got busy with other things, most of which include coding Butt Plug. Butt Plug is a new sex toy control server that I've been working on, and we're getting super close to the first release of the pre-alpha, which means the thing that will crash a whole bunch. And I thought today I would give a quick demo of what I've been doing over the past five weeks and kind of what you can expect out of the software. Now, the whole idea behind Butt Plug is that if you can send a JSON block to a WebSocket, you should be able to control a sex toy. You don't need to know about serial or USB or Bluetooth or anything else. We abstract all of that away and try to make controlling sex toys as simple as possible. So you should be able to write web apps to control sex toys. You should be able to use Max MSP and pure data to control sex toys. You should be able to use processing to control sex toys. You should be able to use COBOL to control sex toys if you want. Uh, that's kind of what we're working toward. So today, um, First off, this is my code window. Uh, the first version of butt plug is going to be Windows only, unfortunately. Um, this is mainly just due to me needing to pick a platform and work on it. I will be expanding the platform support soon after the first release, though, via web Bluetooth and then rewriting the server in a more open uh, platform sort of way. Um, so today I will be pulling up the Kiru platform emulator application. Uh, what this does is basically it mimics Kiru's software. So Kiru had web players that would play movies that would control their toys, or the virtual real player, VR player, uh, will talk to Kiru if you have an account with them. So this allows you to use those signals with any toy that you want. And today I'll be demoing it on six different toys at the same time. So, of course, we've got our flashlight launch down here. We've got a Levens Lush and two Hushes. And then we've got kind of a weird one because this probably doesn't look like a sex toy to most people, but hey, it vibrates. So, I have two Xbox controllers here. Uh, this version of Butt Plug that I'll be showing today supports X input controllers. So, as long as your controller can be seen via the X input API, which is most game pads, you should be able to work with this. Now, one thing I will say is that these Bluetooth toys right here only work on a certain version of Windows 10. You need the Windows 10 Creators Update to be able to use those. Game pads will work on anything from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So, anyways, now I can bring up my software and hit Start Scanning, and we see the device list populate. So the cool thing is, I can go ahead and pick all of these devices. And then, over here, behind this window that you can't really see because I can't show porn on YouTube, is some porn. So what's going to happen is, when I hit play on that porn, it's going to start synchronizing with all of the toys sitting on my desk. Now this porn already has haptic information encoded into it. You can't just take any video off of wherever on the net. You actually do need data on how to control this stuff. And we are working on a system that will allow you to encode any movie with haptic data to let you control game pads, toys, whatever else. But that's a bit of a ways off right now. So for the moment, this will require movies that are already encoded. Anyways, let's get this started. Okay, and so you can see the movement there. And there goes my desk. Okay, so that was a horribly disorganized demo of what we've got going on here. <laughs> um, but so as the, the movie moved back and forth, 
it was actually controlling the back and forth movement of the launch, but for all the vibrators, it was just sending certain speeds back and forth, so they were vibrating more or less depending on what it thought the position was. Now, these are not the only toys we're going to support. As you can see, over here, I've got the Vores A10 Cyclone, which we already support in the software. I just don't have the uh, translation for the data that's coming out of that movie to control this yet. And we have a Kiru Onyx, which this is just being weird right now. I've got a couple of bugs open to fix this. Um, the Bluetooth interface on it's a little weird. And then way in the back over here, you can see my uh, Eros Tech ET312B. Um, we have the serial protocol for it all reversed out and ready to go, uh, but I haven't actually added a serial core to butt plug yet. That'll be coming in a version after our first release. So that's kind of an idea of what's going on right now with butt plug. I would really hope that we're going to get a version of this out to everyone hopefully in the next couple of weeks. I've got a lot of documentation left to do, some crash testing left, to, uh, some crashes to fix, and some uh, testing left to do uh, to make sure that this isn't going to start controlling your sex toy then crash in the middle of it because no one really wants their computer crashing while they're having sex with it. But outside of that, things are looking pretty good. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'm available on Twitter. Um, or, of course, it's always appreciated if you donate to my Patreon. And I will answer questions much quicker if you're paying me. So thanks, and I will see everyone soon.